but I've been doing a little browsing on eBay to do some possible shopping. And I was looking at mostly like clothing type items and shoes and, and that type of thing. And I noticed that there are a lot of people that um, they charge shipping instead of including shipping in the cost of their item, which that's fine. Everybody does their business their own way. But a lot of people had calculated shipping in and the shipping for wherever it is they're living to me was like 12 and $13 for a shirt that I know did not weigh over a pound. I'm not going to buy it with shipping like that. There are a lot of buyers that are not going to buy it with shipping like that. So I wanted to just bring up and remind everybody about these envelopes here. This is a priority mail flat rate envelope. So if you do have an item over a pound, backside, um, these are awesome to ship things in. You can, you can get bulky sweaters in these. You can get a lot of different uh, styles and sizes of shoes in these. Shirts, jeans go in these perfectly. And it's uh, a little bit more sturdy than just a flat rate envelope. So, and this, if you purchase the shipping through eBay, if you're uh, not a top rated seller, the price is $8. If you are a top rated seller, then the price is $7.76. So I use these a ton. I ship all kinds of stuff in these. Um, and I like that they're padded, so it gives you a little extra cushion. They're not that papery flat rate envelope, so you don't have to worry about it disintegrating in the rain in somebody's mailbox. And, and they're just a really, a really, really good option. You cannot get these at the post office. You have to actually order them off the USPS website. And you order them, I believe, in counts of 10. I normally order 20 or 30 at a time because I use them so frequently. So I just wanted to show those to you and just let everybody know about them because it's really, really a great option and it's an easy thing to factor into the cost of the item that you're shipping. So if you decide to do free shipping, then you know $8 is gonna be your shipping cost and you're good to go if it's over a pound. If it's under a pound, then of course it's cheaper than that in regular, regular packaging and you can't use those for first class. But it's a great way to just have a flat number to be able to calculate into your price so that you don't have to try to figure out how much it's going to cost to ship something to somebody in the United States from wherever you live. So there you go. There's my shipping tip of the day.